Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Vanessa. Today we're doing a Pilates mat flow. I'm wearing two pound ankle weights and wrist weights for a little extra intensity. But of course, as always, you can do the class with or without props. So when you're ready, make your way onto your mat, onto all fours, and let's get started. Taking a nice deep breath. Inhale, arch the spine, eyes go up. And as you exhale, curl, scoop the belly under and tuck the tail. Inhale, opening up the front of the body. Exhale, opening up the back of the body. One more time. Exhale to round and then tuck the toes under. Find your downward facing dog. Walking your hands all the way back to your feet. And just slowly articulate through the spine. Rounding all the way up to stand. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. Exhale, round right back down where you came. Nodding chin to chest slowly. Again, feel that articulation through the spine. Releasing fully at the bottom. Let the head be really heavy. And then we round right back up, same way. Feeling every single vertebrae. Inhale to the top. Exhale, curl, and round. Opening up the upper, middle, and lower back as we move here. Give the head a little shake. Yes and no, releasing any tension. Last time, we'll round all the way up. Feel as tall as long as you can. Exhale, release all the way back down. Gently walk out, back to your downward facing dog, and just pedal out through the feet. So we bend one knee, sink the opposite heel, stretching through the backs of the legs, starting to warm up the toes, the feet, the ankles. Exhale, drive both heels down into the mat, and we'll lower down onto all fours. Right away, we're gonna get into our glutes today. Coming down onto the opposite forearm, donkey kick, tapping the knee, and kicking the toe up towards the ceiling. Focusing on the back of the leg here and keeping those abs nice and lifted, strong through the upper body. We hold the leg up at the top and start to pulse. For five. Last one, lowering down, tap, extend straight back. Reaching long through the leg, toe stays pointed reaching straight out from the navel. Next one, we'll hold it out and start to pulse. For eight, four, three, two, last one, drawing the knee in, into our hydrant combo, open, flexing the foot, extend back, bend in and lower. Open, extend, in, and lower. Staying tall on that supporting leg. Strong flex through the foot, strong kick through the heel. As you kick back, you wanna feel that glute really squeeze up the back of the leg. And think how this really is a full body exercise. Of course, we're working the lower body, we're also working the core and the shoulders, keeping the spine nice and long. holding the lift point through the toes and we start to draw that leg out to the side. So just a diagonal line, opening over your shoulder and then straight back behind you. Finding the obliques here. Again, try to stay really stable through the pelvis. And last move, hold that leg out to the side, pulse it up, pinky toe is reaching to the ceiling for five. And last one, lowering all the way down. Find your child's pose for just a moment. Ah, nice deep breath, slowly round it up. And we're gonna go right into some core work. So we're gonna come on forward. Feet are gonna be flat on the mat, knees bent. Take a nice big inhale, tall spine. As you exhale, scoop the abs, find that C curve, hollow out the belly. Inhale, lift back up, find your sits bones. So we're coming from that neutral spine into our C curve keeping the shoulders relaxed, collarbone nice and wide. Connect into your breath. 
This next one will hold back, arms lift towards the ceiling and lower down. So connecting the armpit to the hip, really feeling the whole side body engage, lower ribs are pulling down towards the fronts of the hips. And take a nice big inhale, lift up. We're gonna add those two together. So arms go up, C curve, arms reach forward and lift tall. Lifting the arms, scooping the abs, arms forward and sit tall. Up, exhale round. Keeping all that work right in the waistline and try to relax the shoulders here as we start to pulse. Chest is lifting, abs are scooping. Always thinking about that proud posture. Feet are flat on the mat. Last one, we'll finish all the way down onto our backs. Take a nice big inhale, arms reach back. Exhale, curl up and floating one leg to tabletop. We'll alternate our marches here. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Think about connecting and coordinating the upper and lower body together. Everything lifts and lowers down with control. Exhale, lift and lower. Fingertips reach for the toe as you come up and abs stay scooping away from your thigh. Last one, let's hold up at the top. Both legs will float up into teaser. Arms keep reaching forward, single leg stretch. Try to maintain that balance and stillness in the upper body as one leg shoots out strong. Reach and reach out. Abs keep pulling back. Last one, slowly lower. Down, inhale, exhale, float up. So again, finding that coordination, lower and upper body, work together. Keep your eyes towards your toes, chin slightly down towards the chest. Right, so we don't over activate that neck. Stay strong here. I know those hip flexors are getting tired. We're almost out of it. Holding the teaser, twist it out. Last move here and then we break. Nice job, release, cross those ankles. Give yourself a nice stretch forward. Oh, let the head just be heavy. Take a moment here to reset. And we're gonna come back into our downward facing dog. Stretch it out, pedal through the feet, whatever feels good for a moment. And then we got our second leg and set of glutes to do. So I'm gonna flip around so you can face me back onto all fours. We're starting with that donkey kick. Point a toe up towards the ceiling. Tap the knee, extending the toe up. Ab steak scooped, shoulders drawing away from your ears. And really think about lifting the chest away from the mat so we don't sink in that upper body. Holding for pulses. And we tap, extend straight back, in and tap. Reaching long with the leg, out and in. Again, pulling straight out from the midline. Reach. Staying strong through that upper body. Holding the lift, we pulse it for eight. Pinky toe towards the ceiling. And last one, we lower in for our combo. We have a hydrant flexing the foot, press back, in and lower. It's open, extend, in and lower. Open, extend in and lower, finding those obliques. Try not to lean towards the supporting side. Instead, think about leaning towards that working side. Almost there. Here we go, last one. You're gonna hold that leg out, point through the toes, Open to the side, diagonal, squeeze across. Open, squeeze in. Think about keeping the leg at the same height as you open to the side, squeeze back. Get ready, we hold out to the side and we finish with those 10 pulses. Here we go, take it up for 10. 
Last five, four, three, two, one, and release all everything in and breathe. Moving back into our downward facing dog, we'll walk everything right into the middle of the mat. Allow yourself that moment to release in your forward fold. And we're right into our standing squat series coming up. Slight turn out in the toes as we start to take it down into our squats. Arms reach forward. Keeping the spine nice and long, make sure the weight is in the heels. You're sending your tailbone back. Energy through the arms all the way down through the fingertips. Maintaining that long neck, long spine. Holding down your neck squat when you start to pulse. Squeezing those glutes in. Think about narrowing the hips here. Keep the spine long, the abs pulling in. Second set, we're gonna come to stand, add a toe raise, coming high onto those toes for releve. Drop the weight back into your heels and you squat and shift onto the toes when you rise. So finding that control in the body here, take your time nice and slow. We wanna think about working this form, really engaging the proper muscles. Feel the inner thighs squeeze up into the pelvic floor, into your powerhouse as you come high on those toes. Last one. Swinging the arms back. Little tricep lift. So pinky fingers are reaching up towards the ceiling. You're wide through the collarbone, wide through the fronts of the shoulders. Into our curtsy tap backs. This hands in prayer, stay low, cross back and pulse, cross back and pulse. Keep sending those hips back. We're gonna start to pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, abs keep scooping. And back to center, other side, go low, back knee towards the floor, slight hinging forward. Think you're kind of diving forward over that front thigh. Keep the abs lifting. We find center, lift high on both toes, up and down. Keep the weight back, tailbone reaching long, abs scooped up. As smooth as you can through those ankle joints. Challenging here to maintain the balance. Can you keep your heels high and pulse low for five? And release all the way down. Nice job. You had a little shake. Walk it out. Find your downward facing dog. Stretching. Give yourself a moment to reset. We're going to meet in our forearm plank next. So shifting forward, drive straight down onto those forearms. Right ankle is going to cross over the left ankle as we open to the side for five. Last one, squeeze the inner thighs together and we just switch. Cross ankles, open out and squeeze back. Last four. And last one, stay here on both toes, plank jack for eight. Four, three, two, last one. And you get a little break, nice job. Breathe. Slowly round it up, making our way into our full roll-ups now. So coming Back onto the mat, legs straight out in front of us this time, squeezing your heels together, toes apart in your Pilates Z. We'll slowly round all the way down. Take a nice big inhale and we articulate through the spine as we curl chin to chest slowly. Curl up and over, dive forward over the thighs and slowly be as precise as you can, imprinting one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, curl up and over, keeping that spine, that waist long. Diving forward over the thighs and slowly round back. Pressing the backs of the legs firmly into the mat. 
Get all the air out as you dive forward. And a little bit slower each time to find a little bit more control and work even deeper into those abs. This next one right here, we're just gonna roll halfway back. Keep your abs scooped. Bicep curls for 10. Elbows in line with the shoulders for five. Shoulders away from the ears. On your last one, hold the bend 90 degrees. Pulse those fingertips up to the ceiling. Can you squeeze your forearms a little bit tighter together? Keep drawing the abs down as the chest stays nice and wide. And gently release all the way towards the mat. Hands come behind the head. We'll take it into our single leg bicycles. So as you exhale, opposite elbow to knee, extending long. Exhale, curl and crunch. Inhale, extend. Think about both shoulder blades curling up and off the mat. Really twisting the whole rib cage. Keeping the knee and leg in line with the hip. Next one, we'll add an extension here. So arms and leg reaches long. Reaching to the outside of the foot. Still curling off both shoulder blades. Pulling the abs down towards the mat. And pulse it out, 10. Five, four, keep breathing, three, two. We're gonna hold the lift, interlace the hands. Opposite leg extends long. Give me 10 more in your scissor position. First six, keep lifting as high as you can. And gently grab onto that top leg. Maintain the chest lift as you lift and lower the bottom leg. Keeping the tailbone anchored, squeezing the inner thighs tight together. Really feel that deep C curve of the lower abdominals. And last one, we'll lower the leg all the way towards the mat. Find our single leg circles. Inhale down around, exhale lift. Anchor the arms, anchor the hips. Feel as if the shoulders are Nail down in towards the mat and reverse the direction for five. On your last one, we'll take it straight into the other side. Hands come behind the head, single leg bicycles. Exhale to crunch, inhale to extend. Twisting the whole rib cage, right? That rotation happens at the waist, not just the shoulders. Extending arms and legs long, keep that rotation happening. Up for five. Holding that lift and we pulse it out right here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Getting ready, we're adding the opposite leg. Interlace the fingers, 10 more. Last four. Grabbing on, bottom leg lifts. Make sure you're not pulling the chest up with the head and neck, but instead you're using those abs to float the upper body off the mat. And if you need, you can always bring one hand behind the head to support the weight of the head. Keeping that tailbone heavy as you stretch through both of the hamstrings, lowering down single leg circles. Five in each direction. Anchoring the supporting leg down. And then reversing, open out to the side, exhale, cross and lift. Draw the belly down to lift the leg. Last one here, we're gonna take it into our scissor switches. Grabbing as high up on that leg as you can, pulling the belly down towards the mat. Even here, we're trying to find that C curve in the spine. Right into our crisscross to finish, stay strong. Last five. 
and release. Go ahead and hook both knees into your chest. Nice job. Oh, we're going to take it into our rolling like a ball. So this should feel good. Still working the core a little bit. Tuck your nose in between your knees and find the tightest little ball shape you can. Inhale, rock back. Exhale. Up to the top and pause just for a moment. Exhale and pause. And then flatten your feet. Slowly round down right into our bridges, guys. We are almost there. We're going to take our bridging in Pilates V today. So heels are together, toes apart. Squeeze those glutes all the way up to the top. Remember your arms are active even here. Chest expansion in the upper body. Arms are pressing down. Squeezing those glutes up at the top. Feel the heels press down into the mat. Little pulses for eight. And then we'll hold the hips up nice and high. I want you to squeeze those knees together. Really working the inner thighs for five. Holding it up one more time, pulse it out. Make sure the chest stays nice and relaxed. And we'll slowly lower down. You're gonna walk those feet in a little bit closer. We have one more set, this time on the balls of our feet, heels stay glued. Lift and lower your hips all the way up, all the way down for eight. We'll hold up at the top, back to our pulses. Four. Now this time hold the hips, outer thigh press. Keep the hips reaching up towards the ceiling. Chest away from your chin, find those outer thighs. And then reverse it back to your inner thighs. Squeeze and pulse in. Holding the knees in, slowly lower, lower down, hug your knees into the chest. And let's take a nice hamstring stretch here, flexing through the foot into a quick figure four shape. Nice deep breath. And we'll just switch sides into your figure four. We have one little series to finish here. Crossing the ankles, come on up and over. Everybody, we're taking it into our push-up position. So I'm gonna go into a modified push-up position. So shifting the knees back, shift the hips forward. We have one push-up, elbows tight into the waist, find your full plank and open up into your side plank. Dropping down, one push-up, tuck the toes under, open side plank. We have eight more like this. Really working the triceps, you wanna glue the upper arms into the side body as you lower and lift. Leading with the chest as you lower. Inhale down to the mat, exhale, push it away. Last one. Everybody meet me in your full plank. This is it, let's go, stay strong. Mountain climbers, nice and smooth. Draw the knee up. Don't move the upper body. Find that control, find that stillness. And if you're feeling strong here, finish with a little run. Pick up the tempo, keep pulling forward in the shoulders. Almost there, last three, two, one, and downward facing dog. Nice job, deep breath. Walk yourself all the way to the front of your mat. Opening the feet a little, find that forward fold, grabbing onto opposite elbows. Ah, we made it. Nice job. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's take a moment here to cool down and stretch out the legs a bit. Finding your yogi squat, maybe hands come into prayer. And then we'll lower down onto the mat and take it into our single straddle today. Stacking the shoulders as we reach towards the foot. Inhale, counter stretch away from the leg. And then this time pivot your chest towards the thigh. So both shoulders down, sweeping around, lifting the hips up, really open up through the front of the hips, through the quads. 
Let's take that one more time. Sweep around, reach for the toe. And sweeping around, lift the hips, extending from fingers to toes. Meet in center, and let's take that to the other side. Inhale, rainbow the arm up and over. Exhale, release into your stretch. And counter, pulling out of your hip. A windmill around. This time, both shoulders stay down towards the floor. Windmill up into your side bridge. Exhale, release. Deep breath, sweeping back around, lifting the hips up, finding that joy pose, extending fingertips to toes, and then finishing in a nice, comfortable seated position. Feel all that power and energy you created in the body, right? Really harness it. Use it to your advantage as you move throughout your day. Take a moment to quiet the body, quiet the mind, giving yourself a little stretch through the neck each side. And taking a few shoulder rolls to finish, letting go of any stress, any tension. Let go of those things you don't need so you can pull in more of what you do want. I thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please like, comment, and share with a friend. Until next time, peace and love.